A foreigner walks into an Indian grocery store and is greatly confused by things. What the heck is this? Is it like cucumber? No. No. It's supposed to be cooked. It is cooked. And watch as I show you some of my favorite Indian fruits. The time is ripe. It is summertime here in India, which means it is the season for all kinds of weird Asian fruit. At my core, I'm a fruit, fruit lover. lover. But there are still tons of fruits I have never tried or even heard of. I'm ready to pop my cherry on all kinds of exotic fruit. Honestly, I have not been peeling well. <laughs> Hopefully this fruit will provide some much needed vitamin C. We've come to a fruit and veggie market here in Gurugram, outside of Delhi. And we've arrived just in time. Let's hope this visit is fruitful. Ah, look what we have here. Oh my gosh. Now this, I'll let you guess what this one is. I'm waiting. Nope. It's actually not corn. This is a banana flower. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. Look inside. Unfortunately, this vegetable you cannot eat without cooking. The banana stem. Look at this gargantuan banana stem. What is this? Kundru. Kundru. Is it like cucumber? No. It no. Is, uh, it is supposed to be cooked. It is cooked. It cooked. Is to be cooked. You can't eat it raw. Oh, you cannot eat it raw. Wow. Okay. What the heck is this? Uh, it looks like an eggplant, but it's green. It has this crazy pattern. There's not even any marking. I have no idea what this is. Look at this. What the heck is this? I have no idea. Uh, yeah, I, I, I just honestly, it's spiky. It's piney. Maybe it's a fruit, maybe it's a veggie. Who knows? What the heck is this? There are so many things here that look like cucumbers, but they're not. Confuses me greatly. Oh, now this one, I know what this is. This is an amla or gooseberry. Oh, they're beautiful. Beautiful little gooseberries. Let's take a few of these babies home. Look at these freaky bananas, bro. I've never seen a banana like that ever before. Oh my God. Okay, <laughs> that's not gonna be the thumb. Let's head into the fruit room. My God. Or yeah. Orange, you glad we came? Wow. wow. This is really the perfect fruit shop. It smells like every kind of tropical fruit all at once. So here we've got the most quintessential of all Indian fruits, the Indian mango. The mango is one of my favorite fruits in existence, if not my number one fruit. This one looks pretty good. I feel like I'm mango and crazy. Next up, we're gonna pick out some of these chikus. It's got kind of a weird earthy flavor. Get some of these chikus. I've got to take some of these home. They look like little freaking potatoes. If you told me these were potatoes, I'd probably believe you. Yet another classic Indian fruit here, the mosambi or sweet lime. Now, usually these are only used for their juice. You'll see juice stalls with a ton of mosambis and they'll be cranking out their mosambi juice. It is delicious. It's kind of like in between an orange and a lime flavor. Now here is the custard apple. This is one I've never tried before. I am so excited. Now Mark Twain actually said that this is the best fruit known to man. If that's not an amazing endorsement, I don't know what is. Can you eat? No? Not good? Uh, so this is the Coronda berry. Now these are a Himalayan berry that is used in traditional medicine. But apparently they're very sour and not a good taste. And honestly, they're really hard too. They're like super hard. Here are some beautiful guavas. Now the guava is actually from Central America, but they grow here in India as well after being imported. And I love me some guava. Let's pick up some of these babies. Now you may not know this, but the dragon fruit is actually the fruit of a cactus from South America. You may think I'm crazy for buying so much exotic fruit at once, but I just don't give a fig. It's time to weigh up our sack of exotic fruits and check out of this Indian grocery.
Okay, bro. Welcome, bro. Thanks a bunch. <laughs> Did that work? <laughs> All right, I've got a huge sack of fruits. It's time to go review these babies. Don't miss part two where I review all the fruits I just picked up. And subscribe to Source and Flow for more epic content from around the globe.